Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, before we start, you notice always that before, I mean, there's people, they come to the chat and they debate people and they argue and they speak about uh, the Roman Christianity, Eastern Christianity, and the second is going to time to be live on air. Bye-bye, he's leaving. A bunch of cowards and kids. And if you are an admin, if there's any admins here, next time you see those people here, they do that, block them. If you don't dare to come and debate us, if you are a hero, you know, you want to play like a rat when I am away. The second we are going to go live, bye-bye. So while you are here, you are a coward. Uh, you know, uh, Muslims always, they come to us with funny answers. And I found like Muslims, uh, they have immature religion, immature prophet, uh, immature questions and answers you know when a, when a prophet he is 54 years old and yet he is thinking about marrying a girl she is not even five years old yet obviously he is immature whatever you want to call him additional to that but this is a clear sign of immaturity immature person is not about how old he is only uh, I mean you can supposedly when you arrive to a certain age you should be mature but, uh, you know, the maturity ap appear uh, by your logic and your knowledge and what you stand for. So today we are going to show you a mature Muslim, not immature. This is a mature Muslim. And those, by the way, Muslims, they copy paste from each other. Like, you know, it's not like one of them, he come with this and the rest they copy. But just to show you stupidity. Islam. Christianity. So I is Islam, K is a Christian. <laughs> Muslim asking a Christian, who is God? Uh, if you ask me, are you asking me about your God or my God? You notice here that you said God with a small letter. Obviously, you are asking about Allah. Allah is a shin. The Quran says Allah is a shin. So who is God in Islam? He is a shin. Who is God in Christianity? Jesus. Okay. Is Jesus the son of Mary? Uh, okay. So Jesus is born of Mary. This is true. And yes. <laughs> Who created Mary? <laughs> I got you busted. <laughs> I, Who created Mary? You know, when, when, uh, when a Muslim, he tried to think, he go in panic mood. Jesus, he got you busted. And he said, before Abraham I am so we will go with the stupid logic of the Muhammadan that okay if Jesus is God so how he is born of Mary well that can be true if Jesus was not exist before Mary so yes he created you not only Mary is a created he is born of Mary but yet he is the word of God who became a man you see, when the Bible speak about uh, like uh, Jesus is born of Mary, etc., and then speak speak about uh, the son of etc., the son, 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 and then it shows go all the way to, to David, correct? But you remember what Jesus said to the Jews, right? If we open the Bible, let me go there. Jesus said to the Jews, "Who you say I am?" Oh, sorry, who you say, who, who is a Christ? Son of who is he? The Jews, without any hesitation, the answer saying, well, he is a son of David. He is what? He is a son of David. So now we went beyond Mary and we went all the way back to David. So what do you think of the, of uh, Christ? Th those are the Jews, not a silly Muhammad and who worship black stone. Uh, what do you say of him? But as the Pharisee were assembled, Yeshua, 
asked them. And he said, What are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? This is an answer for you, Abdul. The black stone kisser. They were saying to him, He's a son of David. Oh, logical. I mean, you are born of Mary. And uh, Mary is born of etc., 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 David. Okay. He said to them, How and how did David by his spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, Sit in my right, my right hand, until I place your enemy under your feet. So Jesus here is a question and them saying, well, if he is a son of David, and the Jews are taking it literally, the Messiah can be called the son of David by birth. But the Messiah himself saying, I am the son of no man. By birth, yes. But I am from above. So he said, he said to them, if therefore David call him the Lord Jehovah, how he is his son. So this is an answer for the silly Muhammadan who says, if Jesus is a son of Mary, well, he is a son of Mary. He cannot be the son of God. That it can be true if Jesus was not exist before Mary. The Bible say clearly, Jesus himself, he said, I am. Each time Jesus, he said, I am. You see, in the English translation, when when the when they translate I am this is how God he presented himself to Moses he asked him what I will say my, to my people what what's your name he said to him I am who I am that appear as a name in the Hebrew for those who do not know the Hebrew but this is what it's meant so the Messiah said to them that even David called me God And who am I? I am the living God. And no man could give him an answer, and no man dared again from that day to question him. If we go now to the yellow pages of Muhammad, because you know we are talking to a Muhammadan, so we have to use the yellow pages of Muhammad. If we go in the Quran to find out who is Jesus, you see, because we can get you busted even from the Quran. Read with me, unless you are illiterate like your prophet who do not know how to read. This is your Quran, chapter 4, verse number 71, and I hope you will not make fun of your Quran because you Muslims, you do. Based on your ignorance, you do make fun of your Quran. The Quran is saying here, this is the same verse is attacking the Trinity, by the way. But the same verse, the same verse confirming that Jesus is God. How? Read with me. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary. You see, this is the son of Mary. Hmm was between two brackets it says here no more than that's a fabrication it's not in the is not in the arabic you know we are going with the translation as it is but i mean when you see the translator he put between two brackets obviously it's not there this is his statement so he was a messenger of allah okay so he was what a messenger that's wonderful and he his and his word was muhammad the word of allah no was Moses the word of Allah? No. Was anyone the word of Allah? No. Only Jesus. This is why even in the Hadith says, Jesus, he have a title, additional to the, the word Christ, which is, Kalimatahu Kalimat Waruhullah, the word and the spirit of Allah. So he is the word. Okay, was the word created in Islam? Was the word of Allah created? If I go right now to Prophet Google, peace upon him, let us do some search. 
Give me a second. I will type in Prophet Google was the Quran created. I hate it when I type in Arabic and you know, anyway. So I just type was the Quran created. And those are, we will go only to a Muslim website. We will not go to Wikipedia or you know, Islam Kia K E U A info. This is from, I think, from Qatar. This is very official terrorist website the Quran is the word of Allah may be exalted and it is not created what is the Quran the Quran is the word of Allah okay how it is the word of Allah yet is not created Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? So in chapter four, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, it says that Jesus, verse 171, was the word of God. Which God we are talking about? The pagan God, Allah, the black stone God. So we are not agreeing that he is the word of Allah. We are getting the Abdul busted. Just note, take a note. So if Jesus is the word of God, and this word of God, as you see, let's zoom in. For the old ones like me. He is his word, which he bestowed on Mary. So he sent down where to Mary. So Jesus was exist before Mary. Exist. The word of God came down to Mary. So what God he sent to Mary, he did not send a sperm. He did not send semen. He did not send water. He did not send an apple. He sent his word down. That is the Messiah. And here, the false prophet Muhammad is copying John. John 1, verse number 1. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God was the God and that word in verse 14 John 1 14 became a flesh Muhammad here Muhammad, Muhammad as usual the thief he copied from John that Jesus is the word of God who sent down to Mary and became a flesh in the top of that Muhammad he insists to confirm that Jesus is not only the word of God but he have the spirit of God proceed from him, from him, from God. So Jesus, he is the word and he have the spirit before Mary received any Jesus. And the Quran in front of you. And now you can laugh at the Quran as much as you want. Who cares? We laugh at it too. We laugh all the time at the Quran. And the funny, the same verse is confirming that there is no trinity, but you just confirm a, 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 a new form of a trinity. Look what happened. Jesus is a man. He's a messenger. And by the way, a messenger of Islam can be not necessarily a man. Like Muslim, they say Jibreel is a messenger, right? Jibreel, he came to Mary and he said to her, I am a messenger from your Lord. So he can be an angel. So he's a messenger. The Quran does not confirm if he is a man or not. He is a son of Mary. The Quran says that. But he is the word of God. So he is a man or a flesh. Or he came in a flesh or in a form of a messenger. Yet in the same time he is the word. Yet in the same time he is a spirit. 
proceeding from God, not created by God. This is your silly book, and this is your silly translator, and he is the one who add I in G to the word proceeding. Spirit proceeding from who? Him. God, huh? So, if you, I don't want to say to you, if you, th if you think that will hurt your feeling. So, Jesus is a messenger. He's the word at the same time. That means he is the message and the messenger. But how you can be the message and the messenger? How you can be the message and the messenger? Any Muslim, any Muhammadan can tell me? Muhammad is the messenger according to Islam, but he is not the message. The message is the Quran. Here, Jesus, he himself is the word. And that word was sent down to Mary. So what Mary she received, she received a word. That's mean the Messiah was a word before he came to earth. That's mean his existence is a pre-exist of Mary. How Muhammad was created? The father of Muhammad have sex with the mother of Muhammad, mostly, most likely, according to Muslims. But I believe that the one who was having sex with the mother of Muhammad, it was Waraq ibn Nufal. Regardless who is the one who have boom boom with her, Muhammad is a son of a sexual relationship. Jesus is not. Any Muslim can explain to us why? Since Adam, Adam is the first man, so there is no sexual relationship because he created him from mud. Okay, why Jesus is the only one who have no father? What is the point? If you want to say to me, Allah want to do a miracle, well, this miracle is somehow funny for me because uh, there's no point of it. Nobody can prove it. If this is the purpose, miracle. I, my mother, she can claim that she she was a virgin when she gave birth to me. Nobody see what happened. I mean, a woman. Then her body start, start like showing that she is carrying a child. And who who knows what happened, how this happened. But obviously anyone who have a little brain, he will know that this woman, whoever she is, you know, she slept with somebody, either she is married or not. But when the Quran confirmed, that Jesus have no father and Mary she never been touched by a man you Muhammad and you to explain to us what the purpose of this story the purpose is very simple for Jesus he said clearly I am from above and the funny the Muhammad and they say to us where Jesus says I am God when Jesus says I am from above can Muhammad say I am from above Huh? Can Muhammad say what Jesus said? I am from above, you are from down, from below. So when a Muhammad and he tried to make fun of a Christ or a Christianity, you beat yourself heavily. This is Jesus in John 8, 23 saying, he said to them, you are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. It doesn't matter what translation you like to read. And the Quran confirmed that he is the word of God who came down to this earth and he became a flesh 
and yet he had the Spirit of God with him. So when a Muhammadan is silly one, silly like his prophet, the, the prophet who said, if you say Alhamdulillah 100, 100 times, time you go to heaven. This is how silly they are. 100 time you go to heaven. So when a silly kid like this, he come and he says to us, huh, who created Mary? God, who is God Jesus? Was Jesus born? Yes. Who was the father? God. Who is God? Jesus. <laughs> oh, stupidity is amazing. You see, uh, who is Jesus' father? That's a good question. Any Muslim have an answer? You know what? Forget about the Christian. They say God. Who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? A Muhammadan, he will say Allah. <laughs> Who was Jesus' father? They have no answer. They strump, you know, like they, they, they go in trouble. They go in panic mood. Okay, who to make it simple, who made Mary a bread knit and she delivered a child? They will say Allah. <laughs> so who is the father of Jesus? My father is the one who made my mother have me. Your father is the one who made your mother have you. Who made Mary have Jesus? In Islam, they say Allah. In Christianity, for sure, Allah is not our God. This is a pagan God. In Christianity, we say God the Father. So who is Jesus? Is God the Son? Well, who created Jesus? Nobody. For the birth of Jesus have nothing to do with Mary. For we just showed you, Jesus says before Abraham, I am. Do you understand Abdul? Or you are a slow like your, your prophet? who the angel squeezed him many times, yet he didn't understand what's happening. He keeps saying to him, read. He said, I cannot read. Read, I cannot read. I read. You know, there is one of two is stupid, either the prophet or the angel. You'll find a solution for that. Then the, the, the drama continue. This person, did Jesus die in the cross? Yes. Who took the life of Jesus God? No, no, nobody took his life. Who said God took his life? You see, when a human being, he got killed. God took his life? No. He got killed. You killed him. You took his life. Jesus said, Nobody can take my life from me. I lay myself by myself. Nobody. So Jesus willingly, he allowed them to do their crime. And they killed the flesh of Jesus. It's not God who killed Jesus. However, if we ask you the same question about Jesus in, in, the, in the stupid Mohammedan religion, did Jesus die in the cross? You will say no. Okay. Who, who would someone look like Jesus in the cross? You will say Allah. <laughs> but who was in the cross? Someone looked like Jesus. <laughs> so why Allah, he would someone look like Jesus to, to make you think he is Jesus? So you stupid, you are asking me why we believe that Jesus was in the cross. And your God, Allah says, I made someone look like him. And then who is God? Jesus. So. He's saying to you, oh, Jesus killed Jesus? Stupidity is amazing. The one who killed Jesus is the Roman by the request of the rabbis of the Jews. It's not God the Father, and you are a fool. Same time, we believe in the Trinity. 
and the Trinity is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So if you are confused, you think that God the Father is the same person as God the Son, that's mean you are stupid. And I don't I don't blame you. Your your God himself could not figure out what is a Trinity in Christianity. Have you ever heard of a God? He think that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. I type in Arabic. I, I, when I want to type in Arabic, I type in English. When I type in English, I switch to Arabic. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let us see what the Quran said. And here you understand then. Why this Muhammadan he is confused? He should ask his God, how silly are you to think that the Christians, they believe that in, in uh, 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 Jesus the Son, Allah is the Father, and Mary is the wife. What is the Holy Spirit? So I am not surprised to see a funny Abdul who do not understand the Trinity if their God himself do not know the Trinity. Do you see it? Allah, he said to Jesus, son of Mary, didst you say unto mankind, take me and my mother as for two gods beside Allah? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Remember, we are talking in the 6th century. Isn't it the Muslim, they say the Christian, they met the guy, that the, the coward he, he, he left. He said the Christian, they met in the council. You eat at the council. And even those who they are heretic, still they believe that Jesus is God. And they use the same gospel, you idiot. So in the council, the two groups, they were debating the same book. They don't have different books. This is how stupid those people who copy paste and they say the cancel, the cancel, the cancel, the cancel. They were debating the same phrase. Not different book. And they lost the debate. But here we notice that we have a God who do not know what even, even the Trinity is. Have you ever heard of a God? If you read the whole Quran, you will not find in the Quran one time Allah he is saying or quoting the Trinity correctly. So what is the Trinity? What is the Trinity of the Christians? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Well, this is the God who is teaching you the Trinity is wrong. Okay, but what is the Trinity? Mary. This is what Christianity teach that Mary, she is the wife of Allah, and they have a son, his name is Jesus. The stupid Muhammad. who cannot keep his mouth shut. He said the following. That Allah have no girlfriend. What this have to do with what sahiba? What is the religion we are talking about? The originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a child when he have when there is he he have no concert? 
this phrase alone is enough to prove that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. Because if Allah is God, he do not need a girlfriend to have a concert. Isn't you Muslim? He says, if Allah want to have a son, he's, you know, he say be and he was going to be. Actually, even the Quran says that. Even the Quran say that phrase. And why Allah, he don't have of a son. It's not fit for Allah. <laughs> Let us laugh at the logic of the one who made the Quran. It's not fit. Why? It's fit for Allah to have a shin. It's not fit for Allah to have a son. It's, it's fit for Allah. Uh, let us see. Let us open the verse. Give me a second. The same chapter, the chapter of Maryam. When it's it is not meet for the majesty between two bracket, the beneficent that he should have a son, choose a son. Why not? Why it doesn't fit? Any Muslim can tell me why it doesn't fit? It fit for Allah to have a shin, to have a foot, to have five fingers. It fit for Allah to sit in a chair. It's fit for Allah to be carried by eight goats. It's fit for Allah that he forget. It forget. It fit for Allah that he make Quran, yet he, he, he abrogated the Quran because the excuse he will make better Quran, which means he, he is a dummy. He's correcting his mistakes. But it's not fit for his majesty. What majesty? It's fit for Allah to have angels. It's fit for Allah to write the name of Muhammad all over his chair. Allah, he, he moved from his chair. He started writing the name of Muhammad. It's fit for Allah to associate his name with the name of Muhammad. Which one is bigger? You Muslims are kuffar. You associate the name of God with the name of a man. To the point even you say Allah and his messenger knows best. You associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Because all of us we knew that you worship the man, you don't worship God. Actually, if a Muslim insulted Allah, they will give you three days to repent. But if you insult the Prophet, you have to be killed even if you repent. Which means, who have more value for you Muslims? Why the punishment is extreme and no mercy if you insult Muhammad, but if you insult Allah, they will give you three days to repent? What kind of religion this religion is? Do we have any Mohammedan? No Muslims? In different verse, Allah he said the following and here you need you need to to uh, uh, do some meditation try to be a Buddha for a second try to be a Buddha for a second because Muhammad he need a lot of meditation this guy obviously he was taking a lot of hashish chapter 39 verse number four Didn't we just showed you that Allah is saying it's not fit for Allah to have a son? So what this verse? If Allah had willed to choose a son, he could have chosen it what he would 
of what he has created. Like what? 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 Are we reading the same book? You just said, you Muslim, you say that it is impossible for Allah to have a son. Okay. Allah, he said, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Okay. It is not fit for Allah to have a son. Okay. So what is verse? Is that the influence of hashish? Chapter 39, verse number four. If Allah wanted to have a son, he will choose from what he created. Okay. From where? From which he has created. From where? This is, I'm repeating for the deaf one. From where? From which he has created. Wonderful. So what is verse? It's not meant or fit for the majesty of Allah, the beneficent, should it choose a son. Hmm? Chapter 6, verse 101, the originator of the heaven and the earth, how can he have a son, a child, when he have no concern? Look at the stupidity. You just said, if he want to have a son, he will have it from what he created. So it is possible to have a son even if he is a creator. Do you see it? Hmm. What is this? If Allah had will to choose a son, he would choose it from who? From who he created? So what is the problem then? Muslims, was Jesus created? Was Jesus created? We showed you the answer, no. Because the Quran says that Jesus is the word of God. Which means Jesus was the word of God before he became a flesh. So his existence have nothing to do with the flesh and his birth, from the, by birth from Mary. This is the Quran. He is not only the word of God which is not created and we showed you the Muslim website saying clearly the Quran, the word of Allah, is not created. And here we have another stupid problem, because when the Muslims insist, by the way, if there's a there's a there's a caliphate or a ruler, when a when a uh, when a sheikh he start believing or teaching that the Quran is created, do you know what he did? In the day of Al Adha, he brought this man. They were tying him up in the mosque. He went down the stairs. They call it the member where he speak in the high place. And then he chopped the head of the man. He says, this is what we will sacrifice for Allah in this day. Why? He's a Muslim. Why? Because he said that the Quran was created. So what is the punishment for saying the Quran is created? Death. So now we have two divine. The word of Allah is divine. Allah is divine according to Muslims. How then you say Allah is one? How many divine you worship Muslims? Anyone? How many divine you have? We have one divine. We Christians, we have God who is one. The person of God is a three, doesn't make it a three gods. But now you have a problem. You have the word of God is separated totally from Allah.
So how in the world you say the Quran is the word of Allah if the Quran is not created by Allah? Uh, Zainab, she is saying, we are metaphorically the children of Allah. Where the Quran says that? Show me the verse so we can love together. This is something new. Metaphorically. I like it when Muslims they say metaphorically. And what does this have to do with my topic? When the Quran is saying, if Allah want to choose a son, he's talking about not metaphorically. If he want. Which means he did not. So don't tell me you are metaphorically the son of Allah. Since when you Muslims, you are children of Allah? The Quran actually get you busted. Let me show you the ignorant of those people. They, they, they have a big mouth, but they have no knowledge. I mean, it's very embarrassing. The Quran says, the Christian, they say, they are the children of Allah. And then he said to them, well, <laughs> if you are a children of Allah, so why Allah, he punish you? <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? All those verses... I mean, I cannot believe how stupid this book is. So if we say that we are children of God, that's mean God, he cannot, he will not punish us. And what if we suffer in our life now that to prove that we are not children of God? If we go in the Quran in chapter 5, the Jews and the Christians they say we are the children of God. Here, the Muslim they use the word Allah. Where is the Zainab? The one who fabricating the Quran for us. This is the Quran. The Jews and the Christian says, We are the sons of Allah and his loved ones say, <laughs> Why then does he chest it you for your sin? Do you see the stupidity? As if it is, if you are a child of God, that means you became. You have a license to sin. That is a stupid. So for Zainab who said something stupid, I say to you, the answer is there in the front of your eyes. Amir saying, challenge you to find where Allah, S-A-W say, S-A-W-T says, I am a three. Okay, Amir, let me take a selfie for you. Amir, you will regret that you are repeating the question for me. I saw you repeating the same question many times. You challenged me to find you that Allah is a three. Everything is about Allah is a three. And look what you did. Allah SWT. You cannot even mention the name of Allah without following him with the three words. SWT, what is that, the bathroom? If we go to your book, the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following, Mr. SWT. Is that your Quran? How Allah he present himself? He says, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Okay, who, who is Ar-Rahman? And who is Ar-Rahim and who is Allah? And who is talking? Zainab was sarcastic. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. I thought I am the only one is sarcastic here. 
Are you there, Mr. Amir? Allah, when he start talking in the Quran, he say three names. Are they one God or three? Let us find out. If Allah is the God of Muhammad, so who is the one says in the name of Allah? If Allah is talking. Those are three titles. Thank you very much. Guys, those are three titles. Why three? If Allah is one. Smile. If Allah is one, why Allah have three titles? What's wrong with Allah? Why he is stuck with the number three? Aren't we fighting the idea of number three? Why Allah have three titles? What's wrong with one title? He is God. That's it. Why Allah he chose three out of many and even the names of Allah are 99 which is multiply of number three in the age of Jesus. If you ask the Muslims how long Jesus lived in this earth they say 33 years. How many the names of Allah? 99. Where you get those 99 from? It is multiply of age of Jesus. Same time, if they are titled, who is the stupid saying in the name of Allah? If Allah is talking, how he say in the name of Allah? So who is the one is talking? Are you there? I am a Christian prince talking. People will laugh at me if I say in the name of a Christian prince. Why you care? A second ago you were challenging me. Now you are saying why you care. How silly you are. You are must be, must be a kid. I feel sorry for your wife. Smile again. Why you care? I care because we want to know. Do you think Allah is a stupid God who he chose three, number three for no reason? Why he did not make them four? Why you care? Why he did not make them five? Why you care? But because when we care, it's embarrassing embarrassing you cry why you care suddenly you're asking me why you care there's differences between the titles and the names so why you must them call them names if we search right now we will find the 99 names of Allah not 99 90 title and still I'm asking you why Allah saying in the name of Allah if he is the one is talking? Was Allah taking hashish? Forget about why 99. Why? Oh yeah, why what 100? Is it 100 perfect? We became one? One, number one. Why 99? There's no answer. Why three? They have no answer. Okay, who is saying in the name of Allah? There's no answer. If Allah is talking, how in the world he say in the name of Allah? There's no answer. The answer is, why you care? How Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. Allah must be, if he is only one, he must be standing in the front of the mirror. But even that is stupid. Allah saying in the name of Allah. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Praise be to Allah. Allah saying praise be to Allah. What Hunuf Arafik? What is that man? Allah is talking. He should say, I am Allah. When God he came to Moses, to Moshe, he said to him, I am your Lord. Not in the name of the Lord. The second you say in the name of the Lord, that's mean you are not the Lord. It's an honor. Allah is honoring himself, guys. Allah speaking to Allah, hey Allah, you are the best, Allah, agree with you, Allah. Allah, do you know that you are the most, Allah is talking now, Allah is talking to himself. Allah, don't you think that you are the more handsome boy, Allah? Yes, Allah, Allah yeah, I agree with you, Allah. So Allah is honoring Allah. Why you believe in the Trinity? Like the son, he honored the father, and the father, he honored the son. If you have only one person, how does one person honoring himself?
Don't call him donkey, please. Anyone will use it. That guy, he did not use bad language. Anyone will use bad language with him, I will block you. So how Allah is honoring Allah if it's the same person? Like imagine I go to us to a place and then I am the same person and then I say to my myself, uh, Christian, sit down. I said no, no, no. You sit down first. Talking to myself. No, 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 no. You sit down first. No way. You are the, you are like you know. We respect you. No, no way. I will not sit down. You sit down. And all of this I'm talking to myself. I am honoring myself. No way. You will sit down first. And I sit after you. No, Christian, I sit down after you. And then Christian, he said to Christian Prince, well, no, I swear by Christian Prince, I will not sit until you sit. And then Christian Prince, he says, I swear by Christian Prince that I will not sit until you sit. I mean, are you, are you drunk? Allah is honoring Allah. Is that a joke? And who is watching? Was Allah in the stage and there is people like, hey, Allah is honoring Allah, Allah. Allah is saying praise be to Allah. Abu Huria, you came only here for a chat? I don't think so. I think you came here to sell your Huria. You see, people come only for a chat, but people, they learn. No problem. And as you see, you cannot answer us, Abu Huria. I mean, how in the world even you call yourself the, the father of Huria? Huria is a creature created for boom, boom. You want your daughter to be the boom, boom creature? You want to have a daughter, she have no panty 24 hours, 7 days a week in the, in the, in the heaven of Allah? Are you proud about it? Having such a daughter, porn star, Abu Huria. It is the different when you will understand. Why you don't explain to me, Amir? Do you want to call me? I mean, Amir, how many selfies I want to take to you every few seconds? Guys, it is different when you will understand. Why you don't call me and explain to me? Want to do that? You know what? I will shave my 20 foot beard if you understand what you are talking about. And I accuse you that you are the last one who understand what he's talking about. Prove me wrong and tell me. If you don't dare to call me, I understand. Your mom, she said, don't call him. Something bad will happen. What about you tell us in the chat? Tell me in the chat, forget about calling me. What is the difference? Christian Prince, it's different. Will you will understand? Will you understand? You explain to us. I'm here for you. I'm listening. Stop mocking. Look, look who's talking. You are following about. The, you are following the God of mockery. All the verses we just showed you, it's a mockery. Did you say to them, "Me, me, and and Mary"? This is a mockery. You are making mockery of Jesus. You are making mockery of his mother. You are making mockery of us. I really like it when the Muslim get beaten hard by the answers and then he cry as victim. Suddenly they switch to victim mode, you know, like a victim. He's a victim now. Someone saying, Andy, my friend Andy, thank you for advice. Andy saying, calm down, CP. Muslims are always trying to make people angry. Just a cover up of their ignorant. Andy. I mean, my friend, my brother, do you know how long I'm doing this? And you, Andy, want to teach me how to talk to Muslims? I am not angry, my friend. This is how I talk. I'm excited. I'm happy that the Lord, he gave us the gift to answer the fool. So maybe you are a person who is relaxed all the time. This is how I am, my friend Andy. You should know how I am always. Like now you'd notice that Christian Prince, he talked like this.
You know, I think the problem is that those people, they are used maybe to Western people, how they talk, or English people, or we are Arab, my friend. Have you ever heard the two Chinese talking about coffee? When two Chinese are talking, the whole city will hear it. We are the same. But we don't talk about coffee. We talk about different stuff. Do we have any Mohammedan here? So the Quran is just a silly book, stupid book, flying carpet, and then the Muslim trying to speak about logic. Look, look who is talking about logic. I mean, look who is talking about logic. A person who his God is speaking about the sunset in murky water. Shaitan, he piss in your ears, sleep in your nose, and jump in your mouth. Shaitan go inside your anus and black it. Shaitan round himself around your penis and do boom boom to your wife. The man's sperm is coming from the backbone. The women she have a sperm coming from the chest and the breast. And this is a person speaking about logic. I'm a truly, truly convinced. A person who believe if he touch a black stone, it erase his sin. He is calling us pagans. I'm really convinced, by the way. I mean, look, Prophet of Allah, he said, this is from the Prophet of Allah. Sneezing, drowsing, yawning, during prayer, and also menstruation, vomiting, and nausea bleeding come from the devil. The sneeze is from Allah. The yawn is from Shaitan. Mm -hmm. And one of you, he do yawn, cover your mouth because Shaitan, he jump in his opening. Those are the people talking about logic. This is the religion is a question in how Jesus can be God. <sighs> Allah now is so upset from me. I'm yawning. Hey Christians, let us open a club. It's called the Yanini Club against Allah. Allah, he loved those who sneeze and he hate those who yawn. Read carefully. Allah love is sneezing, but he dislike. Actually, it doesn't say dislike. This is fast translation. It says, وَيَكَرَهُ يَكَرَهُ which means he hate. What, what, what dislike? Where do you get the word dislike from? I mean, have you ever heard of a God he dislike yawning? Why? What is the connection? What kind of God, those who they are questioning how Jesus can be God? I mean, do you question even your stupidity? Allah likes sneezing. Dislike yawning. Allah, and I, I, you know, the funny is, they says, look, look, here the translation is accurate. Look, 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 look. Suddenly the word hate appear. In the previous translation, they hide it. They say dislike, because obviously hate is so stupid too. I mean, it's, it's more stupid. The prophet of Allah says, may Allah bless him. Where it says, may Allah bless him. It says, Allah, Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah pray on him. Allah love sneezing and hate yawning. Don't use dirty language. We don't use dirty language. Get out of here. Get out of here, coward liar. When the last time I used dirty language? Get out of here. We don't use dirty language. Stupid idiot liar. The one who speaks dirty language is your prophet. Isn't it your prophet the one who said, if someone is proud about his inheritance before the time of Jahiliyyah, the time of pre-Islam, tell him to go and bite the penis of his father? 
If you are against dirty language, which we don't use, how you follow such a man? Go and bite the penis of your father. Is it the Quran says that Allah he blow in the vagina of Mary? Vagina of Mary? And you are speaking about dirty language? Coward liar? Look who is talking. Isn't it your prophet? He says, when you go to heaven, I swear by Allah, you will do dahman, dahman, which means you will do the boom, boom like this. And you are talking about dirty language. Isn't it your prophet who said that your penis will be endless palm tree? Endless palm tree? So you are Abdul who live in China, but yet your penis in the seven galaxy. And you are talking about dirty. Look who is talking. I mean, look who is talking. Isn't it your prophet who said your private part will be endless and Allah will give the women a vagina fit for that private part? I mean, what does that mean? How big it is? If the private part is endless, use your imaginary. How long the tunnel between England and France? And you are talking about rude language. Look who is talking. And I did not mention anything yet. I mean, read my book, Sex and Allah, you will go crazy. Once I was in the coffee shop and I was reading, you know, working in my book. And then, uh, like, uh, the, the, the guy, he brought the coffee. Uh, he said, uh, Sex and what? <laughs> <laughs> he saw the title. <laughs> he said, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, what a name for the book, Sex and Allah. Well, this is what this Allah is about. All of it is about sex. You pray for him, you die for him, you kill for him, you live for him, you pray for him to get sex. All your religion is about sex. You have nothing to do with God. You are a sexual person following a sexual prophet to get a sexual promise. What I will get if I believe in Muhammad? You tell me. Let us go to the Quran. Women with big boobs. He did not promise you a big cup of coffee. No. Women with big boobs. This is God. What if I like them small? And how big they are? The only benefit of women with big boobs in this scenario, if the flood of Noah happened, you can use them as a balloon. What is this? This is God. And all women in heaven, they will have the same age. Why? Guys, they will have the same age, the same boobs, the same face, the same eyes, the same lips, the same names, and the same picture. I mean, how stupid is that, man? You go in the street, you see the same woman. You go to your wife, you see the same woman. You go to your friend, to your friend, you see the same woman. You go to your cousin, you see the same woman. You go to your father, you see the same woman. You sleep with her, she's the same woman. All the versions which Allah created for you, they have the same face, the same look, the same lips, the same names, and even they sing the same song. What is the same song? Uh, Barbie girl, I, I am fantastic, I'm made of a plastic. You can brush my hair, that's me everywhere. Allah Akbar. Imagination, that's your the creation, Allah. I mean, the song actually, I think it's made for Allah. The Barbie girl. So Allah will make like you have a manufacturer, he will make like a billion or trillion of Barbie girls and they sing the same song. She is a Barbie girl, you know, and uh, you know, you can touch her hair and you can, uh, you know, everywhere. She is uh, plastic and fantastic. And use your imagination. We stop here. <laughs> I mean, look who 
was talking about logic, man. You die laughing about this cult. And look, garden enclosed and the grave veins. Oof, 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 oof. And there is a cup which is full to the brim. I like the brim thing, my friend. I mean, I, will, I, will, I was going to be upset if it's not to the brim. <laughs> and then a brother, Allah, I mean, if you go, if you go to the verse of the, in the, about the, in the heaven, you would die laughing. Oh boy. <laughs> And brother, around them there is boys, very beautiful boys, very sexy boys, huh? And they are like pearls, and they will be serving you with bowls, a weir, and cup of a pure spring. <sighs> you know what? I just I, I was I, you know I have a problem with my filter my in my kitchen. Pure spring. Is that Alaska? Where from yet no etching of head nor madness. Oof, 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 oof. There's no headache. And the fruit from what you prefer. Or do you want more? And then there's a flesh of birds. Only bird, there's no shrimp, there is no fish, no. Only bird. You spend eternity eating chicken. And now, you see, we have the wine, we have the boys, we have the cup, we have the fruit, we have the big boobs. What is missing? Huruain. Aha, the women. Aha. Who they are like into a hiding pearls. Oh boy, unbelievable how sexy, and you know it. And then Mr. Logic, the Muslim who speak about logic, let's see how those huruain look like. How they look like. If you are here first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you are second time, don't forget to unsubscribe. So the Prophet Muhammad, he described how those women look like. That's so good. Brother. The first group will enter paradise, they will be so white. You see here it says, they are the glittering. In fact, it says they will be so white, like the moon. And then he described the women. Those women, they have no jealousy. Why is that? You kill their emotion? They became a sex machine. This is a bar before sex. They have no jealousy. They have no emotion. They don't complain. You sleep with other women, she is watching, no problem. No emotion. She is just a sex toy. And then Muhammad, I hope the Muslim with the logic he is listening. He described the women that you will has you will see they are so beautiful, transparent, pure transparent to the point you can see the mirror of their bones and of their legs. You know how beautiful it is to see women legs in such a way. I mean, we let us be honest here. Regardless of you are, how many of you like to see women legs like this? You can see the marrow of their bones. Uh, look at this. I mean, I know that many of you don't like Islam and you try to attack the Prophet, but in your deep inside you, you love to see women who you can see the marrow of their bones and their legs and their hips bones too who can who can really refuse such a beautification 
So we will believe in Allah. And you speak about how beautiful they are. And then we find out that those women, they will be see-through bones. I mean, how attractive. You know what? Sleeping with jellyfish is better. Look at this position. What is that? Oh, look at this position. Look at this. So when a Muslim, he speak about logic, I say to you, shame on you. You are the last one to speak about logic. You are the last one who can talk about logic. And you know, me, myself, I think, I think this, look at this. Oh, look at this position. This is hot. I mean, you like it, you don't, if you don't like it, I'm going to block you. So now Allah, he created for you the hur, brother. And now the hur is laying down in the front of you. Look at this. And you see those beautiful bones. I think Allah, he was a promising German shepherd, not a human. I mean, what bones? Why one is, who in the world want to see such a view? See the marrow of their bones? Like, you see, if I am the one who's saying that, the Muslim, they will say, lying, doesn't say that. And by the way, this is Sahih Bukhari. So don't play the game of saying, Da'if Hadith is Da'if. This is Da'if. Islam is Da'if. Islam is weak. Anything is embarrassing, they say it is weak. That is the truth. You like it, you don't like it. This is how it is. All right. Anyway, guys, it's time to go. Uh, I left a woman. She is in the x-ray machine. We are trying to fix her, you know, because she have meat. And I don't like that. I want to see through. So we put her in the microwave, hoping that that will make her see through after we like we do like maybe 20 minutes. We try first 20 minutes. Uh, still, we cannot see through. So we will add maybe like 40 minutes more so we can see through the marrow of the bones. The microwave I got is uh, from, uh, you know, uh, California, you know, and it's uh, made uh, by uh, Bill Gates. You know, he owned the micro microwave uh, company in uh, Chicago, you know, which is, uh, you know, made in uh, Brazil. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like you put uh, the women inside and then the light turn on you, like you, know, you hit the thing, like pim, and then, you know, I can bet you a timing, like for how long you want to do women, for how long you, you want the women, you know, like you wanted her see through too much or see through like, uh, like well done or like uh, what, you know? This is, this is religion. This is religion. If I am the one now claiming to be a prophet, promising you women see through bones, how many of you Muslims will laugh at me? Be honest. Just because Muhammad, he said that, you don't dare to laugh. That's the truth. What do you mean don't go? I left the women in the microwave. Because if she stay more, you might she she might become boneless. <laughs> we have to admit the most beautiful woman is the one who is transparent. In this way, she cannot hide anything. She eat your hamburger, you will see it. She tried to hide the credit card in her bra, you see it. Like hello. Think about the big picture. Don't be, uh, you know, limited. Who ate my hamburger? Can she lie about it? No. You can see through. Think, think. Be deep. Like Muhammad, the prophet of Allah. All right. I mean, poor men, they work 24 hours, seven days a week, and then the women, she go and buy a dress. Uh, and then what? 
she buy a dress and and do you see transparent so what the point of the dress the funny Muhammad he said women they will have like I don't know 70 layers of her clothes I mean 70 layers of her clothes and they are see-through so what the point of those 70 layers to spend 70 years to take them off imagine you go to the bedroom and you have a wife waiting for you and now she is wearing 70 dress and now she have to take them off by the time she finish you will be snoring and then when you start do you know that Muhammad he said that orgasm will take you 70 years I mean this guy is stuck with number 70 70 years orgasm what about 69 I mean come on make it 30 70 years orgasm only if the orgasm is 70 years the sex how long and if you have 72 wives and each one of them the orgasm alone is 70 years huh? Seventy years, x seventy-two. The turn for this woman will be five thousand forty years after that. Imagine, guys, to sleep with the same woman again is going to be after five thousand and forty years. Honey. When is going to be my turn? What's wrong with you? You are rushing into, you know, you, you know, you have to wait another like uh, 3,000. You know, only 2,000 years is gone. There's 3,040 years left. You have to wait. By the time her turn is going to come, you know the story about the spider? The spider which Muhammad, he copied from, uh, from David, from the story of David, which is in the fiction of the Jews. I think a spider will build a house there. You know what I'm talking about. I will stop here. Thank you guys for this, for being here. This is this is a madness. This is a stupid religion. If a Muslim, he tried to speak to you about logic, say to them, you are the last one who speak about logic. We are giving you videos so nobody can refute you. Nobody can answer you. Nobody can debate you. I am not here to teach myself. I'm here to teach you. So when you see those idiots, trying to make fun of the Bible, of our belief. You silence them with the truth. You silence them with their own books. This is how silly Islam is. Stupidity is amazing. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you and they will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And God bless you all. And don't forget, pray for the Muslims. We love them. We don't hate them. But we, we fight lies. We fight the lies of Muhammad, the hypocrisy, the false prophet, the scam, the fraud of Muhammad, the God who do not know where the sun set, yet he claimed to be God, and they will kill you if you don't believe in him. After all, I have to say, stupidity is amazing. Thank you very much. Take care.